Hey guys, it's uh, Derek and Mickey, yep. unfortunately, from the Nature Boys, and uh, we're out here in the woods. Uh, we did have get permission from one of the neighbors to uh, come in and cut some trees down. My uh, two bad axe, which there is a uh, picture of it on our Facebook page. Um, this is what I like to be using to cut a lot of the stuff down. Um, as you can see, it's a little dirty, but not too bad. Nice clean edges, just sharpened. Um, fiberglass handle. Um, it actually helps uh, keep it a little bit lighter, reduce the amount of um, vibration, so that way you can actually help uh, cut longer and stuff like that. Um, all in all, most of the weight is in the head, right here. So that way when you're actually swinging you get more of an optimal swing on it cut thus being able to cut better more efficiently and make it a little bit quicker um another thing is right here we got the um a saw i like to call it the arc saw only because of its design and instead of it being straight it's got that curve to it so that way when you actually pull back and go forward it'll actually get a little more of the tree instead of just the one straight edge and set and you don't have to twist your wrist too much that way all you gotta do is just go back and forth but keep it straight so that way it doesn't buckle or like bend like that keep it straight so that way when you're going through you'll get a nice clean cut um, another thing that we have right here is a, a branch trimmer it's um, for it's, it's used for like higher up branches, as you can see above my head. Um, they're ex it's actually used to go up and cut some of these branches down to keep it from falling on my head or anybody anybody else's head or falling off after the effect and um, seriously injuring anybody. Um, other than that, those, these are the few of the tools that we'll be using to cut trees and get wood, firewood, building wood, um, stuff like that. Um, one of the things as you'll notice is I'm wearing a Christmas hat. It's not really too safe, but it's more of a Christmas thing right now since it is December and it is quite nice out right now. Um, one of the hats you do want to be wearing for this endeavor though will be like a safety hat like that right there um, as you can see it's a hard hat yeah that's as you can see your head's gonna be very well protected just in case you know like say a branch falls on his head that's gonna hurt if it falls on my head I'll, I'll feel it wear this You'll hear it, you look up, move out of the way. Or just hear it and just take a step out of the way. That way, you're you're not going to get hurt. Nothing's going to fall on you that's too big or anything like that. Um, this will help protect your head and everything and your brain, all that stuff from being seriously injured. Um, this is one of the big musts. And another thing is gloves. As you can see, I got my knuckle protectors. Normally that would hurt. Um, it's leather, so that way you get a much better grip. And uh, anyway, that's gloves. Then the other thing is boots. You want a good pair of you know hard-working boots, like the ones I have on. Also, you want jeans, so that way you know not, it's harder to actually get to your legs and stuff like that. No rips. Yep. Um. Other than that, um, besides that is safety goggles, which none of us have right now, but that's like one of the big musts, just so nothing flies in your eyes or anything like that. Um, other than that, um, yes, a, a big thing is steel toes. Um, I don't have steel toes on, but I think that hurt him more than me. Some way. Um, um, other than that. I think we better uh, examine the tree. Yeah, let's examine the tree, oh, see what man, it looks like. Sexy. 
As you can see, it's a little wet. It's got some holes. Most of the branches are cut. Those aren't a problem. Yeah. I mean, they're higher up, so that way, I know they're gonna mess me on the way down. So, unless somebody's standing in the way, like Mickey. Yeah. So where are you gonna start cutting? Yep. Um, I'm gonna actually try to get the tree to fall to my left. This way. This way on the trail. So I'm actually gonna be cutting right in here. So that way I can get create that hinge and have controlled fall one way and that way nobody's going to get hurt. I'll have everybody behind me. Let's get to it. Yep, let's get to it. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. No, no, no. That it's different. That's for later. Oh. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay. You know yeah, what I'm I'll saying? That one for later. <laughs> Let's get to cutting the tree. All right, I'm gonna have to switch. Come so ready. As you can see, that's one point of contact. My hands completely off it. The tree is actually holding onto the axe. That's the kind of penetration you want to get. So that way you know you're going to be cutting it efficiently. Alrighty. Take a break real quick. All right. Um, you see me using the axe a little bit earlier. Um, right now I switched over to the saw to clear some of this out. As you can see, I did a little bit. You can see my axe marks right here from where I was cutting. Um, I'll get to that in a bit. I just figured I'd clear some of this uh, brush out, and might as well you show you guys how to actually use the uh, saw. And right now I have a little brand, uh, vine that's stuck to the ground. So only way to really get that out is to saw through it. Which, here's uh, how you want to do it. As you can see, it was just a quick few swipes. Got all the way through it, pulled it out. Now you can get that out of the way. Um, and of course here's some other branches too where it'll be kind of a hindrance same thing a few swipes of course it's a small branch so it doesn't really take much effort um, other than that that's basically how you want to like clear some small stuff out um, that's why you always bring a saw and an axe with you just so that way if you're in a tight spot you can actually get a little bit more cleared out that way you have a better swing radius nothing's gonna be in your way that way you'll actually do a better job at cutting and clearing out whatever you need to get done. Alright, um, it's me again I'm standing here with the uh, branch trimmer as you can see it's standing a little bit taller than I am by a few feet um, that's for good reason as you can see with these two trees here you can see there's a lot of branches and stuff like that on them um, right now they're a little too thick for us to actually handle with this um, but this is the basic small trim or small branch trimmer as you can see there's a blade right there and it, it's on a spring so that way when you pull the rope down it actually slices through it um, which is called a presser slice it's kind of like how your scissors work. Um, this uh, this will help kind of trim off some of these branches, so that way 
nothing, none of them come loose or anything like that. Um, it'll definitely help a lot for any bystanders that are spotting you or anything like that, trying to point out like which way they want it to fall or anything like that. Um, this is basically like the the pre-cut trimming process. Um, not a lot of people use this too often only because of how high most of the branches are usually. Um, and sometimes you'll get like some of these branches that are dead and stuff like that that aren't too strong. And you want to actually go through with this and chop them off. You want to do a quick slice like that just so that way you're not putting too much force on it and you're pulling and struggling and using more energy. Um, other than that, this is like one of the basic tools. It's like more for uh, gardening and stuff like that, so that way you can actually prune your trees and keep them alive and growing a little bit better. Um, other than that, this is pretty much just a crash course on what these things do. Um, hopefully, we'll be actually be able to show you guys what they do and how well they work. Um, there's different variations of them. This one is just a uh, rope pull. There's also ones with saws on them for the bigger branches such as these. Um, there's like one or two other types too, but those are the two big, most common ones. Um, you'll see a good handful of people possibly using them. Other than that, um, that's basically it for uh, tutorials on how to do things, what they look like, what they do, how they work, um, things, things like that. Um, now we actually get to go and do hands-on. Like you've seen me earlier with the uh, axe and the saw and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, right now we don't have anything uh, quite small enough for this uh, nearby. But hopefully we will find something and if we do, we will get it on camera so that way you guys see how it works and stuff like that. Um, other than that, hopefully we'll be safe and get some wood cut and we'll show you guys some of the processes used and how we do things. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, let me get in there and look at the, and show them what the tree's like now before it falls. Let's so see how it's job. cut. So which way are you planning on it having it fall? Right now, I'm planning on having it fall towards my right. We're uh, so right in yeah, right in here. As soon as Mickey gets done Actually. getting some of the branches, or whatever. All right, which way are? I'm very out of breath. Hard work, but it pays off. All right, watch out, Mickey. Nah. Just get out of the way. Yeah. I'm gonna... Alright, stop for a second. I'm gonna move from back here on the other side of the tree so we can see it fall. All you right. can really see how it's like... Yeah. It's about to topple over. So we're gonna get to a safe distance.
And guys, that's what you call a perfect cut. Is when you can actually sit there, decide where you want it to fall, cut it, and it falls right on your target. Unfortunately, Mickey was not standing there. Oh, so no kids, nothing was harmed but a tree while making this video. Thank you guys. Peace out.